So uh, we have already got, we have started recording the course material. And uh, you can see that uh, we have now 10 students already in our classroom. I, I don't know the, the exact number. I didn't take it from always since the um, registration to the course is recently closed. So I, I, I better check it up today. And we, I, I'm familiar with your names. Um, the, uh, you have already taken power electronics course for me, and you have uh, also t have taken control systems for me. All of those courses, unfortunately, were uh, online. Uh, this this one is the last on online course, and you can see you can see me if you want. Um, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. I have Tuesday morning uh, control systems course, another course uh, Wednesday morning at nine nine o'clock between nine and twelve. Uh, systems and control for mechanical engineering students. So I will be definitely I will be in my office um, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. I'm not. I'm not sure about Thursday. However, uh, Friday we are going to see each other through this um, uh, course. This course is starting with, together with, very unfortunate events occurring on earth i'm talking about the war i'm i'm talking not the war i mean war, war is something that two equal power is actually fighting this is this is what is called war the other other one um, uh, is difficult to call it war it's something completely different matter uh, science Technology and ethics course is uh, is a very delicate course. You are going to see that during the progress of this course, it it is going to be involving the critic criticism of the civilization of humankind. Before starting the course, I would like to say something which is, I believe is, uh, is important. Human, humankind is the most dangerous creature on earth. I repeat, humankind is a most dangerous creature on earth. If you, if you look at the relationship between animals, they of course fight for particularly food, and also for uh, their family life, let's say, sex and things like that. They do fight. If you look at the animals, they they fight for the food, and, and also they kill to eat the other one. To, for example, lion eats the deer and, and uh, you know, other uh, animals. However, they don't they don't kill. They never kill. S simply because that the idea is different than others. Probably you understand me. I have I have some ideas about my my society and other people have different ideas about their society and there is a conflict between those that that is belong to humankind of course human is the most developed somehow most developed at least we think that creature on earth however however that that development is not always 
giving us a fairness adalet is is not giving us fairness it's sometimes giving us to say to do to act without unconscious without without their without our let's say ethics values so science technology and ethics particularly in the ethics part is very important okay so this is the starting point oh uh, it's a sad uh, days we are living in and the starting point is not is not very good uh, as far as my course is concerned let's have a look at the material we have the syllabus Syllabus is important. We are going to look at the topics we are going to learn. Can you can you see properly now on here? The introduction. In the introduction part, we are going to start with the early early age of the humankind. And then, for example, invention of fire, invention of wheel, starting the farming and things like this. So society, change of society is always affecting the technology, science, and also ethics. Finally, ethics is the most important part. How fair are you? This is the point. How fair are we as a society is important. The development of civilization and the relationship between science and technology for survivor. Surviving almost. I'm sorry, that, that's, there's a mistake over there. For surviving. Science and technology for surviving. And industrial revolution, I'm going to talk about it, and its effect on society. Is it industry four or information revol revolution? That's what I'm going to mention about it. Probably I can do that today. Some uh, talk about that one. What what I remember during the progress of our courses, including science, technology, and ethics course last year. The participation of students were very weak. I wish to interrupt and to, to make comments. But be careful, since this, this topic is rather delicate. Be careful the sentence you are going to say, since it's all recorded. You understand what what you mean so, so somehow during the progress of course i'm going to look at the effect of uh, particularly the, the religious effect on ethics it has it has some good points but it it it has also they, they have also bad effect on society the effect of religious particularly the early it is it is easy for us to give examples about the christianity or or i'm not very familiar with the jewish one but i'm i'm familiar with the christianity so uh, i'm going to give you some examples about the effect of christianity but one thing i'm very beginning of my course i i should say those who think that they are representing religious or those who has got a position to create a relationship between God and human, those people, for example, um, Pope, for example, in Christianity, or cardinals, 
those sort of stuff. They, they, they think that they are responsible to provide a relationship between God and humankind and society. They always try to improve their power. They always try to improve their wealth. Vatican is, one, is, is a very rich place, a wealthy place. The power and the as long as we are talking about the power, then conflict is starting. So during the if you look at the Christianity, during the progress of this one, early age of the Christianity, they changed the society, and then uh, many people came and they said, "You are saying this, but that is not correct." So I. Also, I'm not going to give examples from uh, our society, since it's going to be a delicate matter. And, and I'm not very, uh, let's say, I'm not expert on that one either. So, however, in, in, if you look at the science, technology, ethics, history, in, in particular in the Western world, you can find a lot of examples to open up our minds. All right. So during the introduction part, we are going to talk about that. Then we are going to look at science. What is science? Classification, classification of science and the steps of the science or scientific methods. The history of science, modern science, then, of course, artificial intelligence. You see, uh, if you if you look at my cursor, is is it industry four or information revolution? That that is my sentence. That is my interpretation. What I understand about the society right now. Some people say that this is the continuation of industrial revolution. I don't agree with. It. I don't agree with it. That is an that is a completely new revolution. Probably its impact, its effect is going to be more than industrial revolution. You remember the industrial revolution. It has a lot of effect on this one. I'm going to talk about it right now. So then technology comes. What is technology? How do they relate? What kind of what kind of relationship? What kind of affect our society? Technology development steps, for example, we are going to learn. What is TR, TRC? Technology readiness level. Sorry, TRL. Technology readiness level. We are going to discuss. We are going to see the product development stages. So, if you are talking about technology, that means you have products. So we have to we have to look at the changes in in in society or or the devices we use. Okay, what's happening in technology business? It's fantastic uh, changes occurs in medicine, electronics, and communication, the computation, robotics, biology, energy, and so on. So a lot of changes occurs that one. Now the, the, most, the most difficult part comes, ethics. If you look at the Philosophy, I don't know whether uh, among you uh, are um, concerned or have got background about the philosophy, which I'm not very good of it. Ethics goes back to e even before, before Christ, ancient, ancient Egyptians, ancient Greeks, 
ancient Ionians, Anatolian civilizations, uh, and also then following after that one, the Roman Empire time, then, of course, the Islamic Empire uh, occurs. And also, if you look at the China and in India, uh, uh, also there are a lot of ethical issues. As a society, we Turks have uh, ethics background is coming from Central Asia, actually. People in, in our mainland is Central Asia. And, and for that kind of society w where uh, small villages uh, are c combined, come together and make a state, those, those small villages are governed by a society which uh, you have to be very powerful in order to protect yourself. And the horse and, and the rifle, the sworn and things like this, so um, rifles are important. And also society lives together so if you look at the history of Turkish society in Central Asia, mother is a, is a, is a very important person, particularly the mother of the Khan, mother of the, you know, head of the bra or head of the village, let's say. And, and also wife is equal. She also capable to ride the horse she also capable to fight you see so it, it's coming equality is coming from the woman and the and the man for the turkish society is coming from central asia actually and of course equality between the gender equality is called women and men should be equal their rights is is a basic issue, one of the ethics issue of our society. N not everywhere, however. So, however, if you go to the history, I again, uh, Socrates, Aristo, Galilee. There are there are a lot of examples, and also Bruni, the also the uh, Islamic scientists uh, and also philosophers develop ethic issues as well. However, if you look at that one, we have to classify it. That is the most difficult part to understand, actually, in our course. Uh, I'm going to make it simplified, since I'm also a simple person on that issue. Bio and medicine ethics, Technology and technology engineering ethics, IT technology, IT technology and other advanced technologies are and continue. Energy and environmental ethics, that is also very important. Educational ethics, that's also very important. If you think that ethics is, is only the matter of students, you are wrong. It is also a matter of ours, the lectures. We have to be very fair to you. We have to give you opportun equal opportunity to every student or even for, for those who are a little bit weaker than the others, we have to give our hand to to improve their ability so that that is responsibility of the lecturers professors uh, associate professors and things like this business ethics is, is a very very wide topic corporates managerial ethics work workers rights that is also uh, a, a really an important social issue. 
you can see that there are a lot of examples during the business life. Manager, ethic, ethic means that you have to be fair. You, you have to get rid of from your own personal feelings. You may like some person, people, you may hate some people, even though, even though if you don't like the person, you have to act fairly. You have to give him a chance to improve himself in business life. You, you cannot differentiate the people which you don't like. It is unethical behavior, okay? So in justice ethics, if I give you justice ethics, probably I couldn't complete the course. Just justice is uh, is very important and the, the basics of the law, human rights and things like this is already located here. That's the human rights and social ethics. Environmental ethics, as I told you before. Freedom of speech, that is also one of the major ethical points, freedom of speech. Gender equality, women and men or boy or girl should be equal, treated equally. They, we should give them equal opportunity. Privacy of life, that is also now is very popular. Why do you think privacy of life is now in danger? Who is going to comment on this one? Privacy of life. Who is going to interpret? Who is going to give a comment? You can open up your microphone and you can talk if you want. Can you see this? This is the cell phone. This is the most dangerous device to violate the privacy of life. That's the one. And also intelligent televisions. In, in all intelligent devices, in your house, in your car. So people, people know where are you? People know which direction you go, which direction you come. Your, so your population traffic is known. Many years back, I remember we visited a, a, a cell company, so providing service, one of the biggest ones. They said, we are consulting to uh, Migros, which is a big uh, company. Migros is asking them, uh, what kind of Population motion occurs between that part of Istanbul, from this part of Istanbul to this part of Istanbul. Which location is the best to provide Migros building? You see, if if they know the population motion and the, where they mostly live, then they are going to put it there. So as long as you approach to uh, the malls, for example, where the many shops are located, then your cell phone, there are a lot of invitations comes. Our, our shop, our store is much better than, you know, we are going to provide something for you. It's going to be cheap and things like this. How do they know that? How do they know that? They know that. Unless, unless you clearly clearly close all the information here and close up everything then they may not learn it but generally speaking they do so privacy privacy of life is in danger also the the google for example is is collecting all the information the others as well they say they are not going to use it who knows? That is also another very, very important point. Intellectual property. 
is there anyone who wants to explain what intellectual property is? I remember I wrote a paper about Graham Bell. Graham Bell is, is a well-known people uh, and people believe that or it's widely accepted that he's the inventor of the phone right but i wrote a i wrote a paper actually before himself someone else is also uh, discovered that the voices could be transferred to the line electric line to to the distance to, to to the other people could be transferred and he worked on this one and he, he probably he also worked with uh, graham bell as well since graham bell actually gets the patent uh, it's it's you you perhaps don't know some some of you may know that uh, uh, the, the very, very famous sentence or very famous speech. I can hear you, Watson. Watson is is the also uh, partner of uh, Graham Bell, and then they they separated later. Uh, Watson uh, also applied patent uh, separately, and also Graham Bell applied. But at the end, Graham Bell is awarded, so uh, the patent rights belong to Graham Bell. The other one is nothing. So that's intellectual. This is what intellectual property is all about. Probably you know my um, science uh, and technology history, my experience. For example, I worked uh, in um, archery. Uh, I actually. Uh, took part to form the Archelic Electric Drive Group, r and Research and Development Electric Drive Group, in 1990 and 1995, five years period. During that period, I realized that if if you have developed a technology, you have to patent, you have to get a patent of it immediately. Otherwise. Other company gets the patent and they say, you can't manufacture it. I, I did it, I invented it. So you are imitating my invention. So you have to protect your inventions with patents. But of course, the sophisticated law people and sophisticated engineers come together how to change the patent and get another patent from uh, in order to manufacture their goods similar with the similar methods in turkish we we call it patenti delmek so that is that is a famous business and a lot of patent war is going on between between for example uh, Google, Microsoft, between, for example, Apple, uh, Samsung, between, for example, um, in an autonomous vehicle area, uh, Waymo, which is a part of Google, and, and some companies, I couldn't remember the names. There are a lot of patent wars are going on, and, and unfortunately, People like us, it's written in English, and and if you if you put a comma somewhere, then the meaning of it is changing. But English is not our native language, so we have some problems here. Political ethics. <laughs> Political ethics. Of course, you understand why i'm laughing at it so this is the this is the most area most uh, violated area 
uh, where the ethics are violated. Uh, the, the, po the political people, uh, it's difficult to say something uh, since it's, it's always a um, lot of um, misleading, misleading definitions, misleading pictures, misleading uh, statements occurs in political area. Military ethics. Uh, someone, someone, <laughs> someone write, wrote something just a moment. Yeah, Abu Bakr. Abu Bakr says, Abu Bakr, actually, uh, not only the political area, but in, in engineering, of course, in, in also uh, education and things like this, uh, we, we have better forms but i don't i don't want to talk about military ethics i really i really feel very sorry today yesterday the day before what's happening in in palestine Mil military ethics is violated killing civilians is something is offense not not only against the ethics but it is offense so those people should should be judged in international uh, judiciary systems anyway i'm i'm that's why i start my course saying that humankind is the most dangerous creature on earth unfortunately all right so we have to we have to be optimistic of course since civilization is all about to contribute to the society so you are young people so never give up to contribute in to your society to your people uh, in technical wise uh, technological wise in scientific wise in, also in social wise you have to you have to provide you have to be fair to your people to to your society and this is what ethics is all about i think that kind of starts this is what i've been thinking mid midterm exam face to face in classroom and also uh, i i might give some homeworks as well it's not it's not certain it was the uh, rules of the last year so we are i'm going to uh, take this one into consideration again i'm going to consider that one what kind of you see this course is something that I'm talking. Of course, some of you are listening and make contribution. Like Abu Bakr did it, for example. Or, uh, uh, but nobody, nobody opened up their microphone. Of course, I know in, in some places you, you cannot easily speak because of the you know other people might be uh, disturbed or uh, uh, environmental noise is coming it, it might be a lot of people were talking you you might be in in a place you may not be alone in in a in a place okay i understand that one but i expect participation from you i might give uh, more homeworks than only one final homework okay i might give more homeworks okay now i'm going to start with the early age of humankind We have now 14 students in our classroom. 
I always take attendance list. You remember that. I'm looking at the attendance. Is is Yunus Emre? Uh, is is that the one uh, who completed all of the courses but couldn't be able to graduate because of my course? Is you is is you Yunus Yunus Emre? Is that you? I couldn't remember his name. We, we couldn't open summer course since it's only one student was uh, trying to find a course in other universities, couldn't be able to find. So he couldn't graduate it. I felt a little bit responsible for him. Okay, we continue. Emre, I asked a question to you. You you are going to write yes or no if you want. Tek dersten bir tek bu dersi kalan mezuniyetine bir arkadaşımız var. Ama ismini şimdi hatırlayamadım. Enes değildi ama Enes var bir de burada. The Yunus Emre var. Evet. Yunus Emre ayrı değer. Time to time I'm going to make quiz uh, or uh, ask a question to you. Then I'm going to understand uh, whether you are there or not. So you can you can send only the last information I have got from Abu Bakr. There's no news from Yunus Emre. You see, that is the difficulty. That is the problem. Now, it seems that you are you are in the classroom. I don't know, however, I don't know how many of you now having breakfast, actually, uh, or um, reading some other material, or even even att attending uh, another course. I don't know that. Okay. Well, we have to look at the beginning of the of the system. Where where are we coming from? The early lives of humankind. They are living in a cave. They are living in a cave. So you can see my curse cursor. And they they have some rifles to protect themselves and also to hunt of course what what's the main point to survive yeah the main point is this you you have to find the food and you have to protect yourself from other animals and also other other human beings as well so you have to uh, 
you need a shelter they they live in a cave and they they have a family and the fire invention of fire they call it invention of fire but i believe the the early early age people were, were living not far from the uh, petroleum uh, areas probably it's most likely they come across they have met fire already for example even in in antalya region for example that there, there are there are some uh, places uh, where the, they call it uh, burning burning stones they call it of course it's a wrong definition however there are there are some fires and also in in persia in in some other areas there are some fires available and also volcanic uh, fires uh, around as well anyway but invention of fire is assumed to be one of the major issues since when you hunt something you cook it uh, or grill it uh, and then you keep it in, in in certain amount of time salt is also important material to survive so if you put it in salt you you can keep it uh, with without um, contaminated how do we get a shelter how do we feed ourselves how do we protect our foods and ourselves as well how do we carry our foods and goods or oh, carrying so so you you hunt for example you hunt a big animal you kill and then you have to bring it to your cave how do we protect ourselves from wild animals that's also important so that kind of early houses one step further of course and the discovery discovery of wheel is also very important for transportation then then early agriculture and harvesting is starting so they they start they understand that there are some for example wheat budai wheat uh, is is a good one then they understand that if you uh, grind the wheat you are going to get uh, powdering ki kind of and then you can burn it and make it uh, bread so bread is, bread is important so in order to uh, get the food uh, and also uh, there are a lot of fruits around so you you have to collect the fruits and you can eat so you either you kill animals humankind early age humankind kill animals and then eat their those animals then they understand that why why don't we uh, breed the uh, particularly uh, ships the um, and, and also cows so that kind of uh, farming is developed there, therefore farming life has already started as i told you uh, generally turks were living in uh, central asia uh, it, it they used to have uh, tents not not the houses like this they used to have tents it's called oba uh, and those those tents are movable probably they are going to change their locations so in summer uh, if it's very hot they used to go to the mountain area together with their uh, ships uh, and, and other animals and they they used to live in that kind of society but uh, those who settled down in the in the near to the river or near to to uh, where the clean water is located or or lakes they start harvesting agricultural activities increased so that is the early age then what's happening actually also people are moving from that part to to the other part it is known that in in mesopotamia 
uh, where the uh, river uh, flood uh, is is there. There are a lot of civili first civilizations occurred there. The, the Sumers, uh, Babils, uh, Assyrians, uh, and, and others. In Anatolia, for example, the west part of the Anatolia, uh, it was ancient Greek type of people, Ionians. And, and also during that time, uh, the, the Persian, Persian Empire is also important. There are a lot of wars between Persian uh, and the, those Ionians, but Persians actually captured those Ionian cities. The Ephesus, for example, uh, Didim, you know, west part of, west part of Turkey, there, there were some small cities. Uh, my, my course is not so, social life. My course is science, technology, and ethics. However, how could we come to the ethics? We have to understand that one. If you live in a settled city, what kind of change do you expect from, from those who are moving from this place and that place? So that's a completely different story. If you have a city, it, do you want do you want to do you want to uh, contribute on this one? Is there anyone who is going to contribute on that one? I'm just going to give you some uh, my ideas and my knowledge about that one. However, probably I might expect a homework from you. If you live in a city, of course, it, it wasn't it wasn't uh, those ancient Greek cities, uh, uh, Athena for, uh, Athens, for example, or others. There, there are some people, owner of that city, are the first people. Uh, have got the priorities and there are some slaves so that's that's very funny actually slaves those slaves have have uh, responsibility to serve the masters okay so so equality is not there however city life means that you have to become this is the first step of the civilization actually you you have to find a house you have to bring the water there you have to prepare a sewage system canalization sewage system and if you look at the ancient cities in uh, in turkey uh, in anatolia for example hittites is also another example Central Central Anatolia hit its uh, civilization. Why why hit its are important? You, you see, uh, the the war between uh, hit its and and Egyptians was um, occurred somewhere um, before Christ. I don't remember the exact date, so you can look at your. Um, and uh, in Turkish we call it Kadesh. The war occurs between Egyptians and the Hittites. occurs in south of uh, Gaziantep. And the, thanks God that the um, Egyptian pharaoh has wrote a note about the war. We are learning from, you see, if you look at the uh, writings of the uh, Hittite people and the, and the uh, Egyptians, it is solved. So people um, 
now people understand what's written in those and those i think second ramses i i'm not sure about this one but it, i think it was ramses ramses says that while while we are we are um, he brings his his army to south of Gaziantep somewhere and then the heated heated army which used to have uh, they they used to have um, cars or you know the military I'm going to show you the picture of it just wait I think we'd better take a break then I'm going to take it from here I'm going to show those uh, vehicles the, the early early military devices okay we are going to take a break it's now almost 10 o'clock so 10 past 10 okay Ten ten. We are going to take a break. Okay.
Are you there? I, I just want to show you uh, my my presentation uh, uh, was was delivered to uh, the uh, high school students and and uh, oh, I'm sorry it's Turkish but doesn't matter I'm going to give you uh, all the explanations in English that is the picture of our campus it's a beautiful picture isn't it And that that is the one which uh, reflects the society. What's going on from from from early age of humankind to the artificial intelligence, uh, the the drones, taxis, and humanate humanate robots. So it's it's that is the story. Uh, and the, the since this one is presented to. Uh, high school students, uh, I said, when you when you start life, then the, then you are going to face with that kind of society. It's already that that one is uh, you, those you, you know artificial intelligence applications or uh, other image processing applications are already in in our life now. It was 2019 that I prepared that one. The early age. Uh, as I told you, this is this is I already developed uh, in English name, but uh, sheltering and and defense, uh, uh, li living in in a cave, uh, heating, uh, all, also uh, dressing, and also ammunition, uh, and also food, uh, breathing. In other words, uh, uh, hunting. The first, first uh, agricultural uh, and and animal uh, breeding uh, applications. That one is communication uh, and transportation. Of course, the uh, the vehicles, for example, first way, first early vehicles uh, are developed in Turkish. We call it araba, and also road uh, was was very important. To, to prepare a road. Writing, writing uh, is, is important and people try to write. Those Sumers, Assyrians, Hittites, Babylonians, Egyptians, and, and Greek, uh, and also in, in South, um, South America, the Maya civilization, they all uh, write something. Writing is important, but also counting is important too. Counting, too. counting. So, so the early early age of counters, uh, you know, one, two, three, four, uh, and that kind of. Then you see five. This is six. You can see that you, those those. those uh, Rectangulars are representing fives, so it's a kind of this one is kind of decimal, but this is a Roman, Ro Roman Roman uh, scripts or Roman writings, uh, numbers Roman numbers uh, are actually uh, primitive. Really. Comparing with that one, comparing with this one, this one is primitive. Probably you don't know the story. The it, it is known that the early early counting uh, is is used in China and India very early ones, and then in in uh, Arabic Empire uh, pe people knew the zero. Alge algebra is is an Arabic name, you know. We we call it Jebus. Algebra is the English name. In Turkey, we call it Jebir. So it's, it's Arabic name. And zero is was known at that time. But the Romans, which um, uh, let's say just after Christ or before Christ, the Roman Empire was, was there. Uh, they didn't know how to, how to write 
zero. They, they can't do this. And, and a merchant person living in Pisa, Italy, was going to uh, Tunisia, uh, Cartagena, of course, at that time. And they went there and they sell some goods and come back. His son was clever. While, while he was uh, you know, going and coming, uh, they, they discovered that the numbers are represented differently than the Romans. And they, he also uh, developed uh, numbers one, two, two, two, three, zero. So decimal numbers are developed by himself. Then all of a sudden the Western society used those. But now we also have binary uh, numbers as well for computation. As long as transportation is concerned, that is the early wheel. And that is the one I'm talking about. This one, although it looks as if it's a Roman, but the much before than Roman, the Hittites used this one. And you remember that the war between uh, uh, Hittites and Egyptians, Ramses wrote that. While we were waiting for Hittites, all of a sudden, a, a very shine uh, appeared in a, in a far away and a, and a huge amount of dust, he says. Then he didn't say our soldiers escaped. Uh, <laughs> and then he said, we successfully pulled our forces uh, beyond the river. So he saved his some of his he didn't actually was successful at that war because of those war those vehicles, and then uh, he moved to Egypt and he wrote his notes. He says, "I was very successful." You see, the, this is the first unethical political issue. He he wrote, "I was very successful during that war since." I picked my people uh, and then we didn't lose the war. We came to, uh, I saved the people, we came to um, Egypt. And he, he says he was, you know, he has got a victory over there. But uh, the, the Kadesh, Kadesh agreement between uh, Hittites and, and Egyptians uh, was the first uh, peaceful uh, agreement between those and they said they decided that they are not going to fight anymore well, of course this is but however transportation in in military as well as transportation for uh, carrying their uh, goods and also foods uh, are are used with uh, the vehicles also this is uh, humankind using natural forces, wind. Wind is used for transportation, but not only transportation. You remember ancient windmills. Those windmills are, uh, are used to provide, uh, uh, the, to make a bread. So they, they actually uh, grinded the, uh, wheat and they they make it powder however i started with what kind of effect if we have settled down in a city if ancient people settle down in a city then they start uh, for example making a road making buildings and also the the, the theater concerts uh, and also in early ancient cities this this is this is ephesus for example i think i think it was ephesus uh, and that is the, that is the road going to sea sea was at that level at that time this this is famous roman colosseum colosseum i'm sorry colosseum where the fights occurs. And these are the examples of the transportation 
of course, recent ones. However, the, that that one I was going to tell you, for for small smaller than those, uh, that that is called an ancient Greek theater uh, in in literature. But smaller of those are used for uh, senate. So talk about the city affairs. Socrates, for example. Socrates. Uh, those are the scientists, early, early scientists. They, uh, physics, chemical, uh, astronomy, and other nature sciences. Uh, I'm, I'm going to come back to that one during the progress of those course. Ibn Sina, for example, is, is very famous on uh, medicine, early medicine. Pythagor uh, is a mathematician and, and also Archimedes, that one. And someone says, uh, there's a famous saying that if you, give me, if, you, if you give me a long stone like this, I can uh, move the earth, he says. That is the that is Kuchu Ali's uh, figure. Uh, he's he was living in the central of uh, Asia, or just east of Hazar Sea. Uh, he's uh, he's Muslim, he's a Turkish origin, and he's mathematician. Anyway, we are going to come back to those. If I continue in that manner. The Al Jazeera, for example, is one of the very famous uh, and living in, you can see that now we are approaching to the 20th century, is uh, 1100 uh, or uh, 1200, something like this. Leonardo, uh, another very famous uh, genius, uh, prepared those devices. Leonardo, this is Al Jazeera's. Uh, control systems. You can see that a lot of control system he developed. I have a book about uh, uh, old ancient uh, Islamic society uh, invent inventors. But this, since the Western Western society has got a lot of publication capability, uh, world is familiar with uh, with Leonardo. Uh, I I have. In a conference uh, in in Milano, uh, for it was an energy conference. I have seen some of the uh, you know artificial uh, what what we call it maquette, artificial uh, imitation of those inventions as well over there. Then of course there are some people. Ask questions. Uh, what, why, why there is a, a day and night? What, what was the seasons? Uh, why, why some goods are swimming or, or floating? Rather, I made a mistake. Floating. Some are not. How could birds are flying? What is fire? What is light? What is uh, fire? And how could the firing business is occurring? Uh, what about the uh, stars uh, at night we can see? Why why Apple is getting down? Uh, that one is neat on. Uh, why some creatures are similar? What what about the light is uh, is uh, providing different colors in in in water and things like that? A lot of questions are asked. Uh, and, and also some some uh, petroleum, for example, some liquids are b firing capability, burning. Uh, wh why there's a uh, bursting occurs. And also uh, this is this is magnetization. To why some irons are in attracting each other. How the voice light or vibration is uh, spread around that kind of questions they asked and they developed the science actually but industrial revolution is more important than this when james watt invented the steam engine 
That's the one. Then all of a sudden, a lot of change occurred. And then machines are developed. When machines are developed, you see those uh, manpower and horsepower is becoming uh, reduced. Instead, machines are used and the factories are operated. That is the, that is the line of the um, Henry Ford. Then Henry Ford developed that T-model uh, vehicles. Then all of a sudden, transportation became uh, by internal combustion engine. However, the the other industrial applications, you can see the figures, aeroplanes and things like this. But now, the production line is is using heavily uh, the robotics. This is the this is the end of 20th century story. That is also early age of Wright car brothers. They fly. The, however, now the jet engines we have. That that that is a famous uh, United States aeroplane. They, no radar can capture it. Energy energy sources. Uh, it, it is called here. The the the wind, solar, geothermal, and also hydraulic. However, these are the energy sources in the industrial revolution. I continue. I don't, I don't want to waste your time. However, for now, we produce e electricity from dams, solar, and, and things like this. I, I think I'd, I'd better complete this one. And also transportation. And energy conversion is important. Hydroelectric energy production is important. Solar and wind is, is important and increasing. And this is the solar uh, radiation map. I'm also, I'm also uh, working on energy business. You know that. You can see that part is Sahara Desert. That that desert, uh, Europeans were planning to install a huge amount of solar cells here and transfer it to Europe, to electricity. However, because of the unrest uh, after the, uh, uh, what they call it, uh, Arab Spring, uh, they, you know, the they they change their mind. They, they they don't do that. So you can see that this area is also have a good sun, and also this area in Turkey too have got a good uh, sunny days. This is what robots is all about. And now I believe we are not we are not. The industrial revolution is over. This is my opinion. So I don't accept industry four. Industry one is a steam engine. Industry two is electric motors. Industry three is robots. And they say now industry four with artificial intelligence and, and other um, computational methods, uh, they call it this industry is industry four. All right. But we are living in a completely different society. And this society, we are talking about development of technology, development of science, technology, et but ethics is also going to be very important for you or for us for the future, since we are living now in information era or knowledge-based society we are, we are in. For, for example, satellite, those satellites are, are detecting everything, detecting everything. That, that is famous example, 
the Voyager and, and other devices sent to Mars, they sent knowledge to, uh, to the Earth. I would like to complete the presentation so you can see that. You can see that. Satellites and houses, communication is controlled. All the information is coming from there. And the, the knowledge is stored in cloud. So cloud communication, that, that's a kind of funny word is changed. So if you, if you talk about the industrial uh, developments, it, it is now it's now coming from it's not started with the cell phones of course it, it used to have other devices as well early age I remember uh, Walkman for example probably uh, you, you haven't seen any Walkman Walkman is a kind of tape device which has a battery in it. So it, it says that size of device. So, so you take it with you and you can listen music. However, now you can all the time you can listen music in your cell phone. And a lot of satellites now in orbit and on top of us. Uh, uh, probably it's going to be very crowded over there. And private companies are doing that one as well. These are humanoid robots. That's the picture representing the communication between autonomous vehicles. The vehicles are communicated with the infrastructure. The vehicles are communicated with each other. Therefore, uh, the rules are already stored in their computers. Therefore, they, they, can, they can easily uh, obey the rules, which humankind cannot, but they are going to obey the rules in the future. Th that's a very famous uh, robot called Atlas. He's a very strong, powerful robot, particularly for uh, you know, after the earthquake and things like this, this robot ca can be used. Of course, you are familiar with robotic business. I'm not going to discuss that one. That one is also interesting that these are these are humanoid robots. Looks like human. Can see, can hear, can smell, can speak, can understand, and can learn and even capable to think they take decisions and they act action so these these are all humanoid robots and i'm going to be sure that next uh, 10 years or so it's going to increase this is look in 2019 what i wrote they be careful attention they delivered a, a, a original language to communicate each other. You remember that experience. You know, the robots are start talking each other and human scientists cannot understand that language. Then all of a sudden they turn them off. So it's dangerous. You, you never know. 100 years later, probably it's not it's not uh, the humankind, but the robots will be serving, uh, governing the society. That is what the war between Hittitians, Hittitians are living here in that area, and the war occurs here, somewhere there, south of Gaziantep. Sorry, somewhere there. Probably the river they mentioned is... is um, uh, Furat. Furat'ın İngilizcesi neydi ya? Hay Allah. Anyway, you all know what Furat is. So the war between occurs here. 
I think that is the that is the final picture. No, it's not. These are our works on autonomous vehicles. This is our autonomous vehicle lab. Oh no, still too many. Oh, ex oh explaining the the uh, for for high school students. That is our, that is our autonomous vehicle. And this is also uh, uh, Associate Professor Ömer Cihan Kıvanç's project is a, is a robot. Uh, and also it has drawn on top of it. You can see that how nice it is. Programs, programs, programs. Oh, that's the end. So you are a final fourth year students. Probably you are going to see that one next this this summer or in May. All right, I come back to my course. Yeah, Abu Bakr says hopefully. Yeah, all right. Being a student is a nice thing, uh, Abu Bakr. Enjoy yourself. Never miss that one. That's a very good. Uh, Abu Bakr wrote here, which I I also share. He, he says we shall be we shall be students all our lives. That's right. Time to time, I, I listen um, some uh, professors uh, from uh, in political area as well as the scientific area. That that is also a famous uh, saying that uh, I'm a student. Uh, and I'm learning. Uh, of course, there is always something to be learned. This is what we are going to learn. All right. Şimdi tekrar geri dönüyorum. I come back. When we were here, we all of a sudden we we jumped to the war between Hittians because of that because of that wheels, you know, jump from the war between Hittians and and uh, Egyptians, ancient Egyptians. It was it was before. Uh, I don't know. C can you look at? Can you look at just a moment? Just wait, please. Google'a soruyorum. It was the the agreement is is uh, written between second Ramses and Hittit uh, king third Hattusil in one one thousand two hundred ninety six. Of course, it is minus. So 
it, it is minus before Christ. It is 1,256. It's, it's very old one. So I continue. I picked this from Danny Dilosevich uh, history. The ancient Greek Aristoteles was the first to propose observation and measurement as a method to gain knowledge about the world. In subsequent centuries, thinkers would refine these ideas, notably the Islamic scholar, for example, Ibn al Haytham, who developed an early form of the scientific method, and Galile, following, who stressed the importance of testing for variables in experiment. So, first, we, now we are starting science, okay? So if we start science, so scientific scientific steps we have to know. So I go back to scientific steps. These are scientific steps. Generally, scientific method is defined under eight steps. One, observation. You are going to observe the thing. You are going to carefully look at around. Of course, now uh, you can't see everything. You you can you can look at things with microscope. You can you can look with the, with the satellites. So you are going to use the technological devices to measure to to observe things. However, during that the early time, they were looking at. Uh, the environment by their eyes. eyes. Ask a question. For, for example, in early age, they ask the question, why sun is rising from the east, they say, okay. and then well, at west. So what's going on? Why, why sun is not similar in winter? The orbit of the sun is is not similar in winter and summer. Why days are shorter in winter and the longer sunny days I'm talking about in summer. So they, they, they start asking questions. The other questions, for example, Archimed asked, why that one is floating in uh, on the sea, on the uh, on the water, but the other one is sinking. Bu yüzüyor, bu batıyor. It's floating and sinking. So asking question is important. Never give up asking questions in your life. As, as Ebu Bakar said, you, you are going to be student all of your life. And then the best thing to ask questions and to ask correct questions. Then gather the gather the information, bring the information together, and then look at the information, observation, questions. Then you form a hypothesis. That must have been this. That must have been the rule. This is the hypothesis. However, then you wrote the equations, and or you wrote something, you developed something, then or you form an experimental setup. You test your hypothesis. You have to, testing is important. Then you make, according to your test, if you satisfy, that means your hypothesis is correct. Then you make the conclusion. Or it is wrong. If if your hypothesis is wrong, that is also a good uh, con conclusion. Since you can change your hypothesis and you form another one then you test it again. You discover why your hypothesis, hypothesis was wrong. Making conclusions. Then, of course, you have to report it. 
without reporting it it is not it is not a scientific development it, it is a something in your mind and when you die it's going to die as well and also evaluating not by yourself but others also are evaluating i remember the early age for example uh, of the uh, part particularly the in physics area where for example electromagnetic wave is discovered when the magnetization is discovered uh, where the relativity is is developed by various physicians they send letters to each other they say i wrote down those equations they publish it and then the other one is write that uh, write him that your your equation is correct but not applicable to this case today even for example newton's newton's equations was believed to be magnificent correct equations but when relativity is discovered when the vehicles uh, or uh, devices went up to the space it is realized that some additional changes should be done and then it is not actually valid in in re relativity area so einstein's contribution on this one and also uh, pr probably uh, you have taken physics from yarman hoca yarman professor yarman He also has got a theory on uh, the Einstein's, on top of the Einstein's theory. I don't know whether he mentioned about this one in his class during the physics course or not. Next week, I'm going to start with science. I'm going to give the definitions. So this week we have we have made a brief introduction okay so i'm going to take the attendance list don't leave i'm going to stick it Please don't leave. moment yes okay Yunus Emre Çelebi right Hasan Nizar Muiz Hisham Hisam uh, Muhammed Najati Halil Hatim Hüseyin Maher Hamza Muhammed Furkan Öğretici Enes Gezer Atıl Yusuf Bozoğlu, Anas Mustafa Halif, Ahmet Orabi, Adel Bayraktar, Abu Bakar Halit, Abdurrahman Efe, Abdurrahman Efe Kork, Abdulbari Abdulset. You are already recorded. Thank you for attending. Follow my all learn. Uh, I might give you homework. Okay. Homework. So you follow all learn. Uh, homeworks as well. Good luck all. Thank you for listening. Bye-bye.